Hey guys, how are we doing? Um, hope you're having a good day. Um, I want to apologize, guys. It's been a long, long time since I posted um any video, and that's just because I've been doing a lot lately. And I just finished college. Like I mentioned earlier, on, I was in college in my final semester, so I just finished my last semester, and it's been a lot, you know. So I duly apologize for that, and I'm gonna try to keep up with the videos and everything so thank you so much for the subscribers here thank you so much if you haven't subscribed yet kindly do subscribe yes i'm starting from the basics now and we're gonna keep on going higher and higher and learning more and more you know so you don't want to miss this and this is for programmers this is for people who don't even know how to code but want to learn how to code you know something like this i believe will help everyone and, you know, if you have any solid knowledge in coding already, this will help, you know, solidify your foundation, you know, and make sure, you know, those bigger and more challenging things are, are, are quite easy for you to comprehend. You know. So today we'll be talking about um, data types and variables. And although we'll be moving into JavaScript, um, just a preview, we've been working on HTML, CSS, and now we're going to JavaScript. So I'll be excited. I right, so going to JavaScript. Let's just make a file called um. What should we call this? Data types and variables. Oh yeah, I forgot you type specifier. Um, for any HTML file you create, you have to end it with HTML. So with that, your system knows that you're creating a HTML file. Without that, your system is now with the type of file you're actually creating, so you need that to be there at all times. It needs to end with dot HTML, so we need a uh, And as I explained, I believe this is just for HTML5 to tell the browser that we are dealing with HTML5 in our case. So we have HTML tag and uh, just like getting my sins out done ready and now just start putting things in so our type is uh, here and let's do our pretty type too and it uh So, first thing, so it's going to start with what a variable is. Um, okay. Since you're doing JavaScript, to write JavaScript scripts, um, internal JavaScript scripts, you just need a script tag and all your JavaScript to stay here. All your JavaScript is going to stay here. So, now let's start with this. What is um, a variable? So a variable is literally just a memory location where you store data. And this memory location has a name tied down to this memory location where can be used or which can be used as a reference to access this data. For instance, um, if I want to know your address, um, I don't have to start, let me say I live in um, Canada, Toronto, I don't have to start getting, you know, the um, latitude and longitude to get your exact address. That's like the location of your house, the exact latitude and longitude. That's why we have things like street names and all these things, because those street names are easier to memorize. They're easier to learn as compared to memorizing or learning the exact latitude and longitude data for your address. Same thing with variables. The location where our data is stored, we don't need to start memorizing the memory address rather we just have a name we access or we have a name we map to that memory address so that we can access the data through that name we have given it so let's say if i say um i live at let me say this is a street called um fred street in toronto i don't know if that exists but let's say there's a fresh street 
and the latitude and longitude for that will be maybe 0 0.99995 that's the latitude and longitude is 9.33332221 i won't tell anyone oh i need 0 0.9995 and 9.33332221 i think that's what i said i'm not sure to go to your house now what would i say i need to go to fred street because that's an easier name and due to the fact that we have that name i don't need to memorize the latitude and longitude a variable is the memory location where our data is stored and i believe it's called literal the literal is the actual name we assign to that memory location so they are in a pair the name we give now replaces the address in memory for accessing that data so just to give a brief explanation we can say variable I have some notes and I have two other screens here. So I have like in some notes here that I'm just looking at. A variable is a memory location where data is stored and has a unique name mapped to that memory location so that we can access the data so exactly um exactly what this is a variable a variable is a memory location where data is stored and has a unique name mapped to that memory location where we can use that name mapped to access the data we stored that's literally what a variable so when we do something like this let's um or let's use just let's use bar name equal to my name is samuel um bar youtube wow what's wrong with my spelling youtube channels name equal to coding bro with sam this when i run this when i say this and run this what happens is that um An address is created by memory location. We have, there's a place where Samuel is stored in memory. And Samuel gets stored there. Instead of learning the memory location to access Samuel, we rather access Samuel by using name. So now if I want to let me now do the C out. Oh sorry, that's C plus <laughs> plus. Um I think it's console.log console.log is how you print out and see see how is how you print out and see plus i'm just mixing it up then console.log is how you print out in um, javascript and let's view this in our browser okay they yeah, have this here hmm. that is interesting So you won't see anything here because um, in our page, we don't have any hits here. Our body is empty. But to see your scripts, to see the printing out of the console.log, you go to console. And you can see some more printed out here. Why is some of being printed out? Because I wrote somewhere. So if I write some and my last name, Balogun, and I go here and I refresh it, what do you see? Some of Balogun. So when I print name, to the console you're not going to see name there you're going to see what name is referring to or what name is referenced in the memory which is some of our login this is the data this is the literal and the memory location is where that is stored i hope that makes sense i hope so if it doesn't please write a comment down below and i'll be sure be sure that i'll explain it more but i hope that makes sense so that's what a variable is basically now i want to go to what the data type is Same. Right. data type so you know <clears throat> think of a data type as a a type specifier i know i know <laughs> i should make it more easier think of a, a data type as something that tells you what type of thing you are example I'm a man. My data type is man. 
I'm a man. What are the features of a man? Some men do have beards. I do have beards. Some men or most men, we um, have chests, not breasts as compared to women. Or most men have chest. And those are the features of a man. For men, are they that type of man? It might be a little bit confusing, but I'll get to the point. Women can be seen, a woman can be seen as a data type. Features of a woman is that women have breasts. They have longer, no, guys and women have longer hair. You get, there are different features, different features between men and women. But that man tells you that there are some certain features you should have to be a man. You need two legs, you need hands. Oh no, you don't need two legs to be a man. You need a chest. You don't need to. You you do. You shouldn't have a breast. You shouldn't have milk coming out from your chest when you're pregnant. You can't be pregnant. That's another another example. To be a man. So those two things are just the features of a man. In programming, I like using real life examples when I'm explaining programming because it's easier to understand. As I see programming, it's, it's life, you know. So in programming, a data type just tells you what type or what features you should expect from a data example some data types we have let me try some of them we have what's wrong with me we have number that's the data type we have string we have boolean we have objects and we have undefined these are some of the, of the data types we have in um, javascript so when you see something like, okay, I'm going to just go through all of them. Number, let's start with number, round number, type, equal to 500, also the block, type of number, type. When you see something like this, I, and one more thing you should know is that JavaScript is loosely typed. So other programming languages, or other programming languages will make you write the um, data type beside it, like something like C++. You have something like int age equal to 50. Um, but JavaScript does not allow you to use things like int, and int is also a number. So rather, what you have to do is that you just need to use something like var. Is loosely typed, meaning that um, you don't need to specify the, the data type. Everything is being done by, I will say, your compiler or, or the system to understand what type of variable you're using. And type of is just a way of telling you what type of variable or what type of um, data is stored in this variable. So when I say something like var name type is 500, you should know that 500 data type for this is a number. And to know if it's a number, I use type of. Type of tells you what type that is. So let's say we run this. Uh, yes, here I run this. You can see number is being printed here. But to make it easier, let me just do this. Uh, I am a. Uh, let me see. Number type is a number type is a number. So now to show you that it's just because we study number and needs that number type is a number. Let me see if I change this to a string. I mean, mistake yes, a string. Number type is a string. So it's literally what you store in it that determines what type or what variable type or what data type. Our variable is as compared to other programming language where you have to state it unless you use like a loosely type variable or loosely type data type which is something like auto but that's not in JavaScript that's in like C++ and Java I believe but in JavaScript we don't need to type specify the type we can just use var and our system tries to understand what data type we are actually referring to so that's just an example. I'm just going to copy and paste here because um, 
you can always pause the video go back or understand what i'm typing but i'm going to explain but you can always pause the video for writing purposes if you want to write this down i advise you to write this down actually so this is another type here we have floating type and this is just decimals virtually decimals um in other programming languages we have double we have um um we have double we have float but in javascript a decimal is also a number type so the fact that i use float type here is not actually float type it's actually a number you see what i mean um let me just append this to all of them so that it's more explanatory in the comments in the console rather and don't be afraid we are going through this together so that everyone will understand whatever it is i'm saying so yeah you can see here we have the floats type and we have in the comment floats type is you should expect to see floats in another in a different language like c plus plus but you see what we're going to see now we have strings string is literally a word a sentence a paragraph anything that has alpha numeric characters is a string characters not character characters alpha numeric characters are strings so and yeah let me try something let me try using a character a car strings are, is or strings are string a string is an array of characters an array is just multiple data of the same type so let me try something like car type i didn't try this no, character is one let me try h also As I was saying, string is just a, um, a combination of letters, numbers together. Anything you see in a double quote is a string. Anything you see in a single quote is a character. And just to test that, it's actually a character. This should read car type, not string. But let's see. A boolean is just true or false. Boolean is true or false. One or zero, true or false. A null is empty. Null is not nothing. Null is empty. No means empty when something is void when something is empty you call that no and undefined means it has not been assigned any value you see this maybe when you're walking through arrays and you try to read an array you say oh this value is undefined meaning this is this has not been assigned anything yet you're trying to access an empty space undefined that's what that is and if you have any better explanation for all of this write down below and let's talk about it because we are all learning here this is not some kind of oh i know it's and you guys don't know it now nah, this is a way for me to actually learn also you know to understand things differently and just learn programming so let's save that and see what we have now let's refresh this um i'm just gonna minimize this here so you can see the first one number floats numbered okay let me change this this is going to be like this and refresh number type is a number float type is a number so the fact that we have this amount does not mean this float is still a number this is a string and you see card type so they are nothing there's nothing like um characters i believe in javascript it's just a string either you use single quote or double quote it's still a string boolean is a boolean null type is actually an, is actually an object so null is an object and undefined is undefined so this type of is just a way of telling you what is this variable storing what kind of data is this variable storing and that's just what it is so just to go over what i've just said um let me see there's more i want to talk about excuse me just to go about what i just said you know um it did a variable is the place where our data is stored that's the memory location and we then have a literal a name we assign to that memory location to access that data that's called a string literal but in just sense when you hear variable just know that oh something is being stored somewhere 
and the name given to this location is what I have to access it. That's a variable. A data type is just used to specify what type of data is being stored. Data type, what type of data is being stored. I know it's reverse, but that's actually what it's doing. What type of data is being stored in this location? And I've shown you the types we have just right here. That's what the data type is doing. Most languages require you to specify the data type, but JavaScript does not require you to do that. The computer understands, it reads your data, and based on the kind of data you pass to it, it specifies the type of, um, um, it specifies or you understand the data type which that data is for. And data types have different sizes, you know. Um, like an int or smaller, they have larger. Um, I believe this should be better explained. They had in a conch, I won't say conch, conch means um, concentrated, I won't say conch, but in a, in a more strict typed language like C or Java, because those languages require you to type or to specify your data type, you know, for something like JavaScript and Python, they don't require you really, but something like C and Java, where you have to specify the type. So now, probably when we get to that, I will explain more on the amount of space that an int require, amount of space is um, amount of space a long require, amount of space a long long requires, and things like those. But for now, this is what you need to know for JavaScript. As I said, this is the basics. Let's get this knowledge. Then when we are going to advance or more advanced things, we'll talk about that. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope with this video you've now understood or you, or you have a better understanding of actually what a data type is and what a variable is thank you so much for watching kindly subscribe hit that um notification button down below and so they can get updates and anytime anything is posted thank you so much and have a good day Come on,